Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. We're back out here on Lake Murray. It's been quite a while since I've been able to get out here. Uh, it's June, the summer started, the pleasure boaters are out, the jet skiers are out, so that should be fun dealing with them. But uh, we're gonna see uh, you know, if these fish are hungry in this post spawn. Um, the water temperature's up, so uh, they should be active. Let's see if they're uh, out here and see if we can get any in the boat. Should be a good time. Let's see what we can do. Let's do a little dock fishing. See if, we, if there's any hanging out on the docks. Instead of up there where all the action is with the bait fish on the points, on the flats. And there's some old lazy ones hanging around on the docks. Out to the left of us. We got algae. Slime over here. There we go. I'll take that. Go in reverse, though. Once again, the wind is being a pain in the ace. Oh, it was like a guy on a paddleboard out that man. Whoever you are, you're crazy. Laying on a paddleboard like that. You see this person? They're gonna get run over by a boat doing that. Like they're way out there. They're flat out gonna get run over by a boat trying that. I, what are you thinking? I can't believe that guy's out there. Laying on his stomach in the middle of the lake, paddle, paddling around on a paddle board. Like, I mean, I saw him out there. I said, is that someone swimming? I mean, dude's gonna get run over by a boat. I mean, a boat's are just, he's out there in the boat lane in 60 feet of water, just laying on his stomach paddling around like as he's in his pool people are crazy you're gonna hear on the news oh someone was run over by a boat on lake murray like, yeah of course look at him look at what he's doing of course he got run over by a boat on lake murray he's out in the middle of the boat lane <laughs> laying on his stomach on a paddleboard <laughs> man people are just nuts like, I'm worried I'm gonna get hit in this thing with all my flags and everything. This guy's like, ah, I'm just gonna, just gonna paddle around here on my paddleboard. That's what I'm gonna do. Fish here, because I got one right there. He chased it. That's a striper. Start off with a striper. Simmer down. And we got a striper. So at least it's not a uh how'd you get hooked there, bud? Oh, you got hooked good, didn't you? I'm gonna figure that out. How did you get hooked like that? There you go. Alright. Oh man, these things are fighting little butts. Striper. So, Right there. That's what these are. Striper. I should have known how 
furious they're out here jumping that probably striper That's all right, I'll take some striper. These things freaking fight, man. They are strong little fish. They are strong, strong. Man, he destroyed my Kitek, just destroyed it. Uh. Just annihilated it. Turn on something a little stronger. Maybe it'll stay on. So we're gonna rip those Kitex apart. Man. Yeah, the striper like to come up on this grass flat for some reason in shallow water. Busting all around over there. I'll hit it like a freaking freight train, too. Yeah, these striper will come and when they come in flurries and you see them all feeding up top like that. <clears throat> they'll just bite anything. I mean, if you throw out in there, eventually you're going to catch one. They're like one of the easiest fish to catch when they're doing what they're doing over here, as you can see. See them just popping? <clears throat> they're just popping over thing over here. They just, they have no brains. They just, they just eat. That's all they do It's just eat. Large mouth, not so much. Orange mouth I like to hang out by themselves, hide, and be really stingy. And that grass. I just don't think I can throw a jerk bait in there. I'll try it. Just fighting low down. That's a large mouth there. That's what we're looking for there. On the Berkeley Stunner. That was what we were looking for. I thought you were another daggone striper, sir. This is supposed to be one of these tangle free nets, but man, I tell you what, these treble hooks just get in everything. They're the worst. I mean, well, that's good because they hook the bass, but man, they. Let me see if I can get a treble hook out of there. They hook the bass, but they also just hook everything freaking else under the sun. One more. There you go. Little large mouth. At least it's a large mouth. That's what we came to get. This fella here. Hungry little guy. But hey, you know there's large mouth here too. 
<sighs> Berkeley stunning out the hook free net <laughs> so I don't even like netting them with uh, uh, did he finally get him one over there did he get him one I think that guy finally got him one of them striper yeah we got him one look at that got him one good for him I think he got a bigger one than I got I'm gonna take my large mouth though but man the difference in the fighting <laughs> between the large mouth and the striper is not even funny <laughs> Oh, no, it looks like he might have got him a large mouse. Ah, right, good. <laughs> Finally, large mouth or striper? Large mouth. Yeah, I just got a large mouth too. I got a striper on the first one. Yeah, we got stripers out here earlier. But... Yeah, good. Good catch. <laughs> Hey, this Berkeley Stunner has done well at catching the small ones for me. I caught a lot of small ones on it. Not a big one yet, but it's productive, I'll tell you that. So if you want to catch something, go out and buy you one of these Berkeley Stunner jerk baits because they will catch little ones. And I can verify that. down there there we go some action a lot of action in this spot today one now I got one he ain't fighting much he must be small there he goes yeah he's small got him a mouthful of grass too <laughs> you gotta jump in the boat oh man you were a feisty the little ones are the feisty ones too that's how they get you in the most trouble with the <laughs> with these treble hooks because he see how he is he just he just wants to stick me with his hook and that's how oh, come here do not jump until I can get a hold of you man he hooked himself all kinds of ways where did I put the uh, come here do not move little guy Where in the world is my pliers? I just said, there they are. The thing I want to do is get control of these freaking hooks. And he shook one out. And see, that's the thing right there. Come here. I got to get the rest of them out of you, dummy. As you done all your jumping, that's gotten you all hooked up. See what your jumping's doing? It's getting you nowhere, sir. You need to learn. <laughs> Another little one on the Berkeley. Hurt himself more than he should have. Oh. <laughs> Freaking jump right in my boat. Oh, 
Man, now I'm hooked on my lunchbox. <sighs> Jeez. He said, I'm going to just jump in the boat. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's three on the board. I'll take that. I got blood on me. It's a good day. It's got to be grass. It's grass. Yep. And this is the problem with this grass. You're just in it all the time. Shallow, shallow water here. Down on this flat. But there's a lot of bass that hang out up on this flat. So you never know. It definitely gets pressured a lot. I and mean, for good reason. But so far, we've got it all to ourselves. Berkeley got us another little one. Come around here, bud. Another pounder. Another little pounder. Come here. Come to my net. There you go. Come on. There. All right. Well. Berkeley Stunner gets them again with the Berkeley Stunner. Where is my these pliers? There they are. These pliers are just the freaking worst. Come here. I swear, man, when these things, like I said, when these things hook, boy, they get hooked up. They get hooked. It goes in everywhere. I hate when they get under that gill and they jump and trying to get away and it gets under that gill plate. There we go. How'd you get free? Hey, calm down. You're almost free. Calm your butt. There you go, sir. If you just trust me, another little pounder. Like I said, the Berkeley Stunner, the Berkeley Stunner will we'll catch these little guys. Another one. <laughs> He's just like, screw you, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I knew, I, it, you know, I wasn't even sure if that was um, grass or not, you know. At first, I thought it was just grass. But then, it, you know, you feel it start to take back off. That's the problem with, you know, fishing around this grass. It's like you get in it. And it, it'll stop you and feel like you got something there. And you're like, am I hung? And, you know, next thing you know, you do have a small, small one. So. Murphy Stunna out here slaying the dinks. I'll take them, though. Better than catching nothing. Now we just need to hook us a four or five pounder. We'll be good. It'll be an awesome day of fishing. I can do that. 
but it's still a good day. If you catch anything, it's a good day. Because it is not easy to catch them, let me tell you. It is not easy to catch them. See, that's, that's, see, that's the grass, see? Not the trick, see? That felt, that, that and the fish felt n no different until I let it sit for a second and I didn't feel it take off. But that initial hit feels just like you got one on there, so it's really hard to tell when you're fishing around this grass, but that is definitely one. Uh, nope, nope. Is it? Yeah, no, that's definitely one. I can't tell. No, it is. Come on, what you got? Where are you going? What you doing? It's another dink. He's swimming towards me. That's a striper. That's a striper. Yeah. And at least he only got hooked on the bottom. Hey, you calm down too. All right, sir. Striper. Hey. Calm down, you little butthole. Calm it down, sir. This is what I'm saying with these guys. You gotta, where, where is my pliers once again? Where are my pliers? Right there. Main thing I want to do when I get one is just get control of their mouth and get control of that hook. Because especially with these striper, they've got these little tiny mouths. And uh, it's easy for them to hook you. I'm glad he only got the, uh... come on, there you go. Come here, so hey, little striper. Another little striper. Man, the striper fight though, man. I mean, at first he felt like a big one, and then he felt like nothing, and then he felt like a big one, and then he felt like grass, and then he I realized it was just a little striper. Just, but man, the difference between like a little dink striper and a little dink bass, I mean, it's, it's, it's noticeable. I mean, that striper is way stronger of a fish than that uh, largemouth I just caught. So, hey, it's a limit. I've caught five, I'll take it. Two striper, three bass. Let's go. Successful day on the water, I'll say. I'm not gonna complain about this day at all. It was well worth it coming out here today. I haven't been able to go fishing in weeks. Well, folks, this is how the uh, episode's going to end today. A uh, storm popped up on me, and I was about a, a mile and a half away from the launch. And uh, I had to book it back just to make it to the truck. I had the beach and uh, guy's backyard across from the uh, point where the launch is. So hopefully he doesn't get mad about that. But I had to get off the water and uh, get to safety. So uh, I'm here riding out the storm. Uh, weather report says it's going to be out 25 more minutes before I can get the boat and uh, make it back over to the launch safely. So uh, anyway, I had a good day today. Uh, caught five, I think, a uh, couple striper and uh, a couple small uh, big mouth on the uh, Berkeley Stunna, uh, which is a great jerk bait. I have to say uh, that thing just produces. I mean, even if it's only produced small ones for me, at least it consistently catches stuff. Um, so uh, go out and pick one up if you don't have one. But uh, that's all that's going to do it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy this content. Like and subscribe for more, and uh, we'll see you when we're back on the water. Have a good one.